How to achieve the greatest effective strike with the least casualties and the lowest cost in the future battlefield? A variety of vehicle-mounted high-mobility swarm weapon systems at this airshow opened the audience's eyes. Swarm combat is a new type of combat capability that the world's military powers are exploring. A well-trained battle group composed of a group of drones will make it difficult for the opponent to defend. When a group of drones form a hole in the air, they can exert extremely strong combat effectiveness. This vehicle-based swarm drone launcher carries many small drones, but it's large in terms of effectiveness. So it's called the vehicular swarm weapon system. So how do we specifically understand that in terms of small versus big? Those drones are very small, probably weighing tens of kilograms, which blast out of those launch tubes. Big means that its vehicle is relatively large. It is based on a lightweight, highly maneuverable chassis and houses 18 drones or loitering missiles. They all have the function of reconnaissance and strike. The system appears to be open-ended. When opened, 18 combat units came out. This looks like what we often call a bee colony. Like bees, they fly in swarms. Using 18 drones or loitering munitions to attack together can form a saturated attack. In this way, the enemy's reconnaissance and defense is under a kind of saturation squeeze. It adopts low-cost, intelligent and integrated design features. This UAV has multiple configurations such as reconnaissance and strike. And it has the ability of independent combat and networking for cluster combat. The power form it adopts is the form of pure electricity. The noise on the battlefield is very low, which relatively improves its concealment ability and survivability. Generally speaking, it is a weapon system that integrates storage, transportation, and launch. At present, its entire configuration can provide the strike of 18 loitering munitions or drones. It is the product with the highest degree of concentration among our products. The two vehicles we saw were the CM501XA Loitering Assault Weapon System. One is the command vehicle and the other is the launch vehicle. Then, the CM501XA is a loitering munition. Behind it is the CM501GA Precision Strike Missile. These two missiles can be loaded on the launch vehicle in a certain proportion. Before attacking, launch the loitering munition to the front to scout the target. The detected target information is returned to the command vehicle. The command vehicle then performs situational judgment. It directs the launch vehicle to strike the target precisely. It is equivalent to the precision strike bomb. In this way, we use a relatively small group of vehicles, but can deliver very dense firepower. At this air show, there are more varieties of lighter individual soldier weapon systems than the previous one. At this booth, we found that loitering munition can also be combined with unmanned combat vehicles to form a smarter and more concealed strike method. This intelligent unmanned combat solution is the first product of Hunan Aerospace. First, this is our Peregrine Falcon series of loitering munitions. This munition has been tested many times to verify that it has reached the corresponding performance requirements. This is an individual combat system. At the same time, we have developed an unmanned vehicle launch system based on the individual combat system. It consists of an unmanned vehicle chassis plus an automatic delivery system. This unmanned vehicle platform contains a system that integrates intelligent unmanned combat. It is a close combat unmanned combat system. In other words, a soldier can drive the vehicle remotely. 
but he stayed away from that place and fired loitering munitions. Combat units such as light vehicles and individual groups can use smart ammunition such as loitering munitions to complete information and intelligent upgrades. This is the Swarm 1 combat land station vehicle released by CETC. It is a highly maneuverable vehicle mounted swarm weapon system that can load and launch up to 48 fixed wing UAVs at one time. Launch speed is very fast. It can carry out wide area reconnaissance and multiple important targets striking. It is currently the launch equipment that can carry the largest number of fixed wing UAVs in China. The combat scheme of the Swarm 1 land combat vehicle is very advanced. The fixed-wing unmanned aerial vehicle it carries has a high level of intelligence and has distributed reconnaissance and saturation strike capabilities against the enemy. Moreover, it can perform the management task and control of up to 200 fixed-wing UAV clusters launched by multiple vehicles at the same time. It truly achieves that a vehicle is a team. It marks that our country is at the forefront of the world in the field of drone swarms. In the future, UAVs will develop into swarms, coming out from land, sea, air, sky, and underwater. It uses fully intelligent and autonomous methods to carry out diverse tasks such as reconnaissance, interference, and strikes, and will become an important combat force on the future battlefield. Unmanned aerial vehicle combat operations are increasingly widespread on current battlefields. Facing the invisible, unstoppable, and unbeatable threat of drones, it is becoming more and more difficult for a single combat weapon to deal with it. Building an anti-drone system with multiple weapons has become an inevitable choice. The field of drones is developing very rapidly, so what is the development of the anti-drone field now? There are some of anti-drone systems on display at the air show. UAVs are playing an increasingly important role in modern warfare. While increasing the means of attack, they have also brought many new challenges to the traditional air defense systems. In response to the increasingly severe threat of drones, anti-drone technology and its application in various types of weapons and equipment are gradually maturing with the development of drones. Today, the confrontation between drones and anti-drone systems is spiraling upwards, and a new story of spear and shield is being deduced. The anti-drone system refers to a way to reconnoiter, interfere with, and destroy unmanned aerial vehicles by technical means. At present, the anti-drone technical methods of various countries in the world mainly include missiles, laser weapons, signal jamming, high-power microwave technology, radio control and anti-drone drones. At present, both at home and abroad are actively carrying out research on weapons and equipment such as for detection, tracking, early warning for anti-UAV operations, direct dynamic hit damage to UAVs, and jamming technology for soft damage to UAVs. At this year's China Air Show, the anti-drone system developed by the Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation presented a package of solutions on how to counter drones. The system has three technical elements of target detection, command and control, and recalcitrant defense. It integrates countermeasures such as short-range air defense missiles, anti-aircraft guns, mini-missiles, and laser weapons, which evaluate systematic combat capabilities. Known as the Low Altitude Hunter, the HQ-17A short-range anti-aircraft missile weapon system is the core of the anti-drone system. The equipment itself has the comprehensive capabilities of detection, tracking, command and defense. The ZKK-20 Ground Guided Air Defense Command and Control System, as the upper-level command and control system, can command medium and long-range air defense equipment to intercept large UAVs. In terms of target identification, the photoelectric radar in this system offers 360-degree panoramic detection and tracking, and also produces infrared imaging of the surrounding area, threat target identification and multi-target 3D positioning. The ZR-1500 multi-purpose and meta-intelligent defense system can be configured modularly with various sensors and weapons, and has good off-road mobility and flexible transportation capabilities. After watching this short video, we now start our discussion session. 
we know that the traditional manned equipment is actually very characteristic of some anti-drone system equipment. Drones are actually sometimes difficult to be encountered. Because they fly low, slow, and are small in the air. They are difficult to spot with traditional radar. In this regard, what are the characteristics of some anti-drone systems at this air show? If you want to effectively counter drones, you must first find them in the air. This is a prerequisite for destroying drones. The current anti-drone system urgently needs a pair of discerning eyes. There are currently two important indicators in improving the recognition ability of this pair of eyes. The first is to improve the performance of low-altitude radar. There are two problems with current radar systems. Firstly, they often look at high and not low. Secondly, they often look at far and not close. In this way, the UAV can fly, low and slow, to take advantage of the loophole. Therefore, these drones can find great loopholes in front of traditional radars. Now, through adjustments and some changes in the algorithm, we have made relatively great progress in improvements in terms of reducing these vulnerabilities. For example, the radar has been improved for detecting and tracking both long and short range, and its ability to detect high and low altitude targets. At the same time, in the ground clutter, it is possible to distinguish the difference between loitering munitions and drones. In this way, the traditional radar now has a relatively strong recognition ability in the low altitude with the improvements of algorithms and the new technology. The second is to add a pair of eyes. Unlike in the past, now we added the photoelectric system to form the mutual combination of several technical means of radar and optics. In this way, the probability of reconnaissance and capture of small low-altitude targets is greatly improved. We know that drones and loitering munitions are relatively cheap now. If traditional anti-aircraft missiles are used to intercept them, the cost-effectiveness will be too low. It's just not worth it. So how does China's anti-drone system do against such weapons? China's anti-drone system has three magic weapons. Clairvoyance, the strongest brain, and combo punch. Teacher Du also mentioned just now that we can use radar equipment and other target recognition systems to know where the drones come from, how many they are, and what their flight status is, and then use the ZKK-20 command system to analyze the UAV and hence to assign tasks for air defense interception with Hongqi 17AE air defense missiles, mobile air defense missiles, LW-30 laser weapons, and even the Skynet system with batches and layered defense approaches to intercept targets. At this year's airshow, a large batch of drone equipment was newly unveiled and upgraded, attracting countless attention. This is the Tianchang, or called Skydome Anti-Drone Combat System launched by CETC. The Skydome system is a big family. Next to me are three members of its family. The three-sided low-altitude radar reconnaissance vehicle. The one in the middle is a command, control, and strike integrated vehicle, and the one behind it is a reconnaissance track and jamming vehicle. These three vehicles can be flexibly arranged according to different mission needs. The Skydome system can be used in complex terrain, air drift interference and other harsh environments. Its biggest feature is that it can form a customized and unique counterattack combat system according to the needs of customers in combination with different scenarios. It is a very effective system. In real-world applications, the Tianchang anti-UAV system can effectively obtain the information of UAVs and UAV clusters through multi-level distributed all-round reconnaissance systems with a variety of detection methods. At the same time, it can effectively deal with incoming targets through the combination of traditional and new weapons such as electronic interference, jamming, high-power microwave, laser weapons, and missiles. This is our electronic countermeasure vehicle. This car has electronic detection. All censored information is summarized on this command center screen. The actions of these drones in the sky cannot escape the eyes of our system. At the same time, we have interference, jamming and deception methods to intercept drones. We see a lot of small counter-assault weapons in showrooms today. But the large anti-drone system around us is still very eye-catching. It is composed of multiple systems. Can you give us a brief introduction? The first one is the radar vehicle. It is designed to search for all kinds of drones. It has a basic reconnaissance of drones' position, heading direction, and speed. Such information is then passed on to the command systems of other vehicles. 
车辆的那个指挥系统上。这个车呢，就是重点的一个。This vehicle is an important new anti-drone weapon. It's called the Laser Anti-Drone System, Model LW30. It means 30 kilowatts of powered laser beam, which can burn up a drone in the sky. It takes about three seconds to knock down a drone. That's why we often refer to it as the death ray. Is that a laser head? It's the big one. The small ones on top are for aiming. How far can the laser beam hit? Currently, it can only strike drones at visual distance. That is about three to five kilometers. But it strikes at the speed of light. This is a vehicle mounted UAV defense system. Not only does it have some monitoring system of its own to receive radar signals, but also it has its own UAV. The one above is its own drone. Yes, it can use drones to intercept or capture enemy drones. This vehicle is equipped with short-range missiles and high-speed 35mm gun to form the last line of defense. The model is FK-3000. When some of the frontal weapon intercepts are ineffective or failed, it will open fire with missiles and high-speed gun shells. It can carry 96 missiles, and can also operate independently. It has its own three-faced 360-degree phase array radars, and electro-optical detection system. It is also accompanied with unmanned defense vehicles. Unlike the FK-2000, the FK-3000 is designed for anti-drone, especially anti-swarm drone. It is highly automatic. With the rapid development of drones, what is the biggest challenge for anti-drone? It is easier to understand from this picture, which shows the defense system in a combat area to search, track, control, and use various methods to destroy or capture drones. In the center, there is the front radar vehicle and the Hongqi 17A missile air defense vehicle, which can intercept air targets far away. And then a little closer, we can use those laser weapons or use the FK-3000 missiles. At a close distance, drones can be used to intercept or capture enemies' drones. Or use 35mm high-speed guns, such as LD-3000, or SWS-2, or 625E anti-aircraft system, and FK-3000 short-range missiles to intercept. This is a multi-layered defense scheme consisting of a network covering the area in multiple defense layers. For the cutting edge of high-tech weapons, the laser weapons are very eye-catching at the airshow. For the first time, there is a tactical laser weapon capable of combating against the swarming drones. We also found similar equipment in the exhibition hall. Let's explore the true strength of this futuristic weapon. Laser weapons have many advantages over our traditional weapons. The first advantage is that it is fast. It can hit targets at the speed of light. The second advantage is accuracy. It emits a straight light beam. It is less disturbed by electromagnetic waves. So it's more accurate and very quiet. The third advantage is high efficiency. It is aimed at the key position of the target. The fourth advantage is the cost effectiveness. Because it is the form of a light beam converted from electrical energy. It does not consume any gunpowder and materials like traditional shells, etc. So it is relatively cheap. How much electricity does it take to shoot down a drone? It takes about 1 to 2 hours to fully charge. If it strikes traditional drones, it can strike 20 to 40 drones after being fully charged. Of course, on the battlefield, this vehicle can tow an additional car to batteries as needed. Beside me is the 10,000 watt power vehicle mounted laser anti drone weapon system that debuted at this air show. From the appearance, it is much smaller than traditional laser weapons. It uses a highly maneuverable chassis, which is highly modular. It uses a compound detection method for tracking, plus radar detection to target at low altitude, slow and small drones. It is characterized by good stealth and high maneuverability.
We used our in-house developed laser beam combining new technology to integrate a laser system on a small platform. It is compact, so its manufacturing cost is reduced accordingly. The advantages of such a small system are good concealment on the battlefield, strong penetration ability, and very good performance. In the future of diversified warfare, the use of drones will only increase. The use of lasers as counter-drone weapons is here to stay. These weapons will become more popular in the future. Experts tell us that laser weapons can be regarded as typical intelligent weapons. Because it is characterized by the concentrated release of energy to burn through the weakest and most critical part of the target. Such technology is inseparable from the accurate calculation of artificial intelligence. And the anti-drone method we saw next is really smart equipment, which is used for a direct confrontation with other smart drones. That says use small drones to directly counter enemy drones. This is described by a popular saying, that is to use magic to defeat magic. Of course, in order for these different detection and strike methods to be able to clench their fingers into fists and exert a joint force, it is best to integrate them together. Next to me is a very special military off-road vehicle. We can see all kinds of equipment placed on its roof. All of them are used to counter drones. First of all, we can see that there is a cylinder on it, and it's a radar. Above the radar is electronic detection equipment. They can detect drones in all directions. Three optoelectric devices are also installed at the front and rear. They can detect drones optically. Once an enemy drone is spotted, it can also be jammed or tricked to defuse the drone's attack. How to operate it? There are so many screens in this vehicle. We have applied the newest networking, intelligent, and unmanned technologies to this vehicle. This big screen you see is a command center display. Also its brain. You can perform all detection and tracking tasks on the fly in real time. In order to discover the surrounding high altitude, low altitude and ultra low altitude drones, all detected information will be collected and displayed on this large screen in real time. A commanding officer can see the surrounding air situation at a glance. At the same time, based on the information that we have received for the incoming drone, this system will also assist the commander to quickly select the corresponding weapons, that is to say, all the weapons we just introduced to counter the incoming target. So a detail of strategizes is all shown on the screen. This is true for a small system to be integrated, and even more so for a complete large air defense system. On the vast battlefield, in the face of incoming drones from all directions, traditional air defense systems will not only encounter the difficulty of being invisible and unable to fight, but also face the embarrassment of being unable to fight against such small and cheap drones. So, the intelligent system assists in decision-making is particularly important, which can help to choose the most suitable interception weapon. As we set up such an anti-drone system, which is equivalent to bringing together various interception weapons, we do need to have a unified command and control center. Let's first look at this Hongqi 17A air defense missile weapon system. This is a single vehicle highly integrated anti-aircraft missile weapon system. It carries eight missiles in vertical launch silos. We can use Hongqi 17AE as the core equipment of our entire anti-drone system. It itself is an independent combat system, but we can adopt an open command structure and other soft kill weapons such as laser weapons, net catching drones, and electromagnetic interference weapons etc. can be connected together using our secured protocol communication network. That actually can be as plug and play, which is as convenient as Lego blocks. In this way, we can conduct combat systematically, which is far more effective. From electronic interference blocking techniques to artillery and missile dynamic killing, to high-energy laser weapons and high-power microwave weapon interception, the anti-unmanned equipment were exhibited systematically at this airshow, taking into account both near and far range, and high and low altitude, and combining soft and hard kill to build a comprehensive defense capability against drones. In the future, they will become an important combat form on the battlefield.